Hi, I'm Ed from Jasmine Eye. Today, we're gonna to go through some of the additives and ancillaries that we have in our range and where and why you would use them. We've got lots and lots of helpful ancillaries that can change the product's viscosity, set time, and adjust colors. So we're gonna to talk to you today about specific applications, where you'd use them, and what benefits they can add to your use of Jasmine Eye. First, we're gonna cover the Jasmine Eye official pigments. We've got a range of nine colors in our pigment range as of now. You can add the jesmonite pigments to your mix at maximum 2% per kilo of mix, but that will give you a really strong, vibrant color. If you're looking to achieve a pastel tone or a more muted color, merely reduce the amount, the amount of pigment that you're using in your mix. Many jesmonite users utilize small-scale silicon molds, but more industrial users utilize wooden molds, polyurethane molds, and many different types of products. To release jesmonite from those types of products, we would recommend using our APW mold releasing wax. This can be applied into your mold and then jesmonite on top, and ultimately when demolding, it just releases much easier than it would be with the product sticking to the substrate. APW wax is a great product and can be used really sparingly within a mold application, and similarly can also be used to clean up any excess residue from surfaces afterwards. We also have a product called Thixotrope within our range. Thixotrope is to be utilized with AC 100, 200 and 300. This highers the viscosity of the material making it much thicker. This is great for a gel coat application where you'll be putting glass reinforcement in as it stops the glass peeping through the surface. It ultimately also speeds up the setting time. So if you're wanting to use Thixotrope but retain the setting time, I would recommend adding Jesmonite Retider in conjunction with that. For our concrete grade materials such as 630, 730 and 830, we also have Jesmonite Super Plasticizer. Super Plasticizer is a great addition, ultimately as it lowers the viscosity of the material, making it much easier to flow. You'll find with 630, 730 and 830 that they're much thicker materials when compared with AC 100, 200 and 300. So to aid flow, adding between 6 and 12 grams of Super Plasticizer per kilo of mix will make a real difference to aiding the pouring or brushing into a mould of AC 630, 730 or 830. Jesmonite high shear mixing blades are designed for blending your jesmonite base and liquids together whilst removing lumps and air from the mix. The blades are 65mm for a small and 105mm for a large in diameter and can be used in various applications for blending the materials together whilst removing any lumps and making sure they're smooth and free flowing. In order to slow down the setting time of your materials, we also have jesmonite retarders. We have a specific retarder for AC100, 200 and 300 and another for AC630, 730 and 830. It's really important to make sure you're using the right retarder for your application because they don't cross over, hence the separation. The retarders can be added between 2 and 10 grams per kilo of mix and they can extend your mix pot time from about 15 minutes initially up to half an hour or plus dependent on the addition rate. It's great for larger moulds and larger scale applications where you're filling multiple moulds because it ensures the mix is workable for much longer. Jesmonite Acid Etch is another product in our range designed to be useful when used in conjunction with AC 630, 730 or 830. The product is designed to remove the film layer when molding into a silicon or smooth mold and reveal the decorative aggregate within the product. It can be used to submerge the product in or merely brushed on and then washed off. PPE is really important when using acid etch as it is a corrosive material. Appropriate goggles and gloves and any protection to the surfaces nearby should be made to ensure that there's no overspray or splash as it is a corrosive material and can cause skin irritation. These are a few of the ancillaries within our range and I hope it's given you more of an insight as to where they should be used and why they would benefit your applications. If you have any more questions specific to applications or to the products, please feel free to contact your distributor or if you've got in-depth questions, please email support at jesmonite.co.uk or leave a comment on this video. And please subscribe because we'll be putting out more content where these additives and many of our other products will be used within application to give you more inspiration and knowledge as to the materials.